This is an example how to grade a student paper using Turnitin in Moodle. So what we've done is we've already created the Turnitin assignment and students have submitted their work. So I have here a test student and this is a, a simple dummy document where there has been a 100% match to Lorem Ipsum which is just general dummy text. So I'm going to click on the percentage icon and it's going to load the paper into this interface. So first of all, you've got the red tab and that's the match to other sources. And you can see here, this is a 100% match to an existing source and that's perfectly expected because this is just dummy text that I've got from the internet. So you'll see all sorts of different colors and examples of sources and they'll all be numbered as you can see here against other matches that Turnitin has identified. Once you're in this interface here, you'll start with originality. And in some cases, that's as far as it goes, but you can also use the grade mark feature for paperless drafting. So I'll click on that and the interface now switches into blue. Now in this use of um, Turnitin, you have QM down here which stands for quick marks and as the name suggests quick marks are a simple way for you to hover over a comment see its full explanation down the bottom and if that's relevant you can drag it onto the text and simply dump it over the location where you would be making that annotation then when the student goes in and clicks on the grade mark tab and they hover over these labels they see the full explanation as well so it's very compact and the full explanation can be as long as needed to communicate to the student what the feedback is. That's one way to do it. And you'll see over here that there's quite a long bank of different quick marks that you can use. So having done that, if I just drag out some other examples, you'll see how quickly and easily a teacher can mark up a student's work by simply clicking and dragging the label out onto the paper. The other way to do it is to hold down your mouse and select text. And when you click on that selection, it gives you the option to enter a custom field. Now, if this is something that you would use often, you can also save that to your quick marks. And another feature here is that you can color it. So if you're using, say, blue to indicate it's a strong argument or green as a good example of what you're looking for. Uh, the amber color could be to highlight incorrect spelling. So it's up to you to decide if you're going to use these colors to identify different features in the student work. And having done that, you click save. When the student hovers over the speech bubble in this instance, you'll see that our custom text appears. We can also trash them or we can go back in and edit them any time we want to. You can also click and drag to move these markers around and you'll get that line that connects to the selected text. If we were to select this sentence for instance and I was going to apply citation needed, you can see that again the yellow arrow connects it to the text that has been selected so that is the quick mark feature. Now down the bottom, we're going to jump now into the next option. And this is where we can assign a general comment. And what's good is you can also place URLs in here and they will be clickable links for students. You can put in quite detailed and verbose comments if you like, and then we click save. And a final feature is you have up to three minutes of a voice comment. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you now. So I click on the microphone icon, and this is recording my voice now. This would give me three minutes to give a more detailed piece of feedback to the student. And the good thing about this is the student can play this back as often as they like. While you're speaking your comments, you can also be scrolling through the document so that you are clear with your feedback. So I'll press the stop button here and you'll see recording stopped. Here I can play back my recording. 
I can trash it and start again or if I'm finished with it I click this blue button and that uploads it to the cloud allowing the student to hear it. So now we have our voice comment saved here. Phone icon and this is recording my voice now. This would give me three minutes to give a more detailed piece of feedback to the student and we can always delete that and start again. So the general comments are a very useful feature and together with the quick marks, students can receive quite detailed and specific feedback from you and you'll find over time that this becomes a very fast way of working in combination with dragging out the labels and selecting and clicking to comment. At the end, if you're wondering what to do next, if you have other papers, you can use this down arrow here and you'll see all the other students' papers listed. So you can simply jump between them using this down arrow menu. So that's a quick look at how we can use the teacher grade mark feature inside Turnitin. To the right, we have peer mark, and peer mark is where you can assign other students in the class the option to review any other student's work and this can be blind review or it can be a named review. It's a feature that we're not really using at the college at the moment but if you'd like to speak to me about it I can show you how it works and help you set that up for your classes.